hanging out in the waiting room of my endocrinologist, just um, going to talk over my lab results and find out what he suggests we do next. Um, I get the, my lab results sent to me through an app because I go to an outside lab for my blood work, so I already know that my thyroid antibodies have decreased quite a bit. So I'm just looking forward to hearing what um, my doctor thinks about all this. So I didn't get a chance to vlog while I was in my doctor's appointment, but um, he's very pleased. My numbers, we didn't go all the way back as long as I've been a patient, but his immediate records that he could access right on the computer. As far my numbers, my thyroid antibodies are the lowest they've been since at least 2015. So what does that mean? Nothing really, because it, I'm not, my condition is too far gone to reverse the damage that's already been done to my thyroid, but, and I'm already asymptomatic, so that's a non-issue. But he does believe, and this is complete theory at this point, that reducing my thyroid antibodies does keep the general disease in check and pre not prevents, but lessens the likelihood of me getting an additional autoimmune disease. Because once you've once you've manifested one autoimmune disease, statistically, you're likely to, to have more. So this could possibly present me from getting prevent me from getting other non-related autoimmune diseases like ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, lupus, arthritis. Like the list goes on and on and on. <clears throat> so those are some big, heavy, horrible ones. There's some less scary ones, but in any event, that's the theory. So I will continue to go gluten-free and see if the thyroid antibodies decrease, but my level is, for those of you who are interested, I have the numbers 390. To be considered normal, it has to be less than nine. Nine, so I'm never gonna get that low. But before I went gluten-free, it was like 550, I believe. So it has dropped a lot in three months, but I'm never gonna get down to normal range. That ship has sailed. Anyway, that is my medical update. Thank you for all signing your HIPAA release forms. No, I'm just kidding. And um, I'll check in a little bit later. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Okay, just wanna check in real fast. I think this might be it for the day, we'll see. But um, I got my nails done. I go usually on Mondays. It's a pretty slow day at this nail salon. And um, getting them a little shorter. And I bought this today, actually. This is Essie Showroom for One. It's their more gel version of it. It's supposed to be shinier, we'll see. I also came home to a big package from Neutrogena. Um, and I'm excited. I've already tried it out. So it's their new nighttime body moisturizers and they all have, this is not sponsored, they all have hyaluronic acid in them. It's from their Hydro Boost line. I just was playing with this. This is the Hydro, Bo Hydro Boost Whipped Body Balm and it really is whipped. And then there are also the gel cream I haven't even unwrapped yet, but I'm very excited about. And then two versions of the body gel cream. They both have hyaluronic acid, but one is fragrance free and one isn't. Just wanna put that out there. And also, funky hair, um, they sent me pajamas. They're silk PJs. And um, perfect timing, because Michael and I are going out of town tomorrow morning and we're doing an overnight in Dallas. So I have pretty pajamas to wear. Um, I'm going to film with Colleen Rothschild on Wednesday morning and we're all going out to dinner Tuesday night and, um, and then film Wednesday morning and then I'll come home Wednesday afternoon. So it'll be really fun and y'all will get to meet her on my channel. I guess the point of the moisturizers with the pajamas is that it's supposed to absorb into your skin so quickly that you can put on silky pajamas and they won't let you stick. So we'll see about that. Dogs are going nuts. I'm gonna go see what's going on and I'll see y'all later. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday and I am in Plano, which is just north of Dallas. So basically I'm in Dallas. And I'm actually up here to film with Colleen Rothschild tomorrow. Tonight I'm actually going to dinner with her husband Stan and her marketing, I guess it's her man marketing manager, marketing, her head of, man her head of marketing, who is an Ole Miss grad. Um, Colleen is coming in from Boston tonight and then we're gonna to film tomorrow. But anyway, they put me up in a hotel suite and I wanted to show you this room because it's really different. So I'm standing obviously at the door. Let's take a tour. So here is the closet area. It's a little different. Um, I keep saying different, but it's like this very funky industrial kind of loft. So the closet is just like a curtain here. And then this is the bathroom door. 
it rolls. I don't know why we're not focusing here. We'll get to the bathroom in a moment. You go over there and that's the suite part of this. The bathroom, hello, is very, everything's open, so to speak. The shower, it, there's a mirror in the shower, that's kind of cool. You can also, there's a, like a freestanding bar in the bedroom, which we're basically using as a dresser because there really isn't one. And then there's the bed. And then here is the other side of the shower. So it's, it's kind of, it's translucent. You can't really, you can see there's someone standing there, but they're basically blurred. And that's the rest of the bedroom. It's a really cool pool out there, but it's a little, not quite, swim weather and then this curtain divides into this living area the suite you have a little sitting area a mirror over there desk area little and that's it little concrete wall funky thing got some stuff for filming some tripods some lights and then for travel um i just untucked my shirt but it's my t-shirt made well very comfy Joggers, trainers, as they say in parts of the world, sneakers, gym shoes, what have you. And then this is from a few anniversary sales ago. I actually got this again this year in Navy, but it's my Caslon um, jacket, which I'm actually going to put on. It's starting to get chilly in the room. But then I'm going to chill out here for a little bit, and then we have dinner reservations tonight at Tommy Bahama. So I'm going to change. I can get this on. And then I'll have another outfit to show you. As Per usual, lighting in a hotel room is not great. So, uh, real quick, outfit of the night. Loft blouse. I'm wearing my double O necklace. Priscilla hoops. Pretty lipstick. Like, no, that's literally the shade. Pretty. And I'll spin you around. This is my new skirt with buttons from Old Navy. And these are really ladylike nice morning um over the knee boots i got last year in the anniversary sale that i'm finally getting out and there's similar ones available now there um but that's it so uh i forgot to really grab a jacket it's gonna get in the 70s which to me is freezing so i do have one of my new um barefoot cardigans barefoot gym cardigans it's really gonna use it as loungewear but i think i'm gonna bring it in case the restaurant is chile Oh, and my bag is over there. It's my Louis Vuitton Thames bag, which is no longer available. It is a collector's item. So we are at dinner. There's Mr. Stan Rothschild. Hello. He's the last name behind the brand. And we are getting a pineapple creme brulee. And I've never seen something quite like this before in my life. So I'll be the first one to dig in. Ooh, this is hard to do. Thank God you're left-handed. I know, right? All it's right. a creative hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That was really good. Okay, everybody else get your spoons. That is really good. Okay, Tommy Bahamas, pineapple creme brulee. Go ahead. Go for it. It's Show really good. Up. Good morning. It is a Wednesday. It's going to be a busy, busy day. Filming in about an hour with Colleen. I'm so excited. And then we hit the road. We're like filming for a couple hours and then right back to San Antonio. So, welcome to, to the day from my industrial bathroom pretty funky and I'm using my I'm finally wearing one of my new barefoot dreams cardigans it's just cool enough always cold in a hotel room um, and it matches my new pajamas so my silky PJs alrighty let's get this day started and deal with this always always what I'm gonna be filming don't say what are we talking about nothing I'm just We're saying filming a video yeah it's actually recording right now so you I, I'm just talking to the people who aren't really here so you've done this before I did this to you at the reward style conference Oh yes! I just talk and I'm just saying hey what I'm doing and oh I should just probably look at them. Hi, I'm in Dallas with hey guys. Colleen Rothschild, the human, the real person, the name behind this. Beep, 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 beep. Oh this is a new product you probably haven't seen yet. Um, and we are here filming to talk about some big stuff coming up. Her Can you sale. believe we're finally doing this? How, I mean how many years have we talked about five, it? Four, Maybe. Five, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. And Michael finally gets to meet her. Yay. Stan, hey Stan. Yeah. Stand the man. That's my new yeah. golf cart. Uh -huh. That was great. So uh, yeah, we're in a really cool hotel, the Nilo. Mm -hmm. It's in Plano. Yep. And uh, it's really cool here. We're, we're... Oh yeah, and there's, look, there, there, oh there you can gosh. see. I'm giving her the inside look at what it's like. Yeah, behind the, the scenes. I love this. We've got lights. I feel like it's I'm like in a, the know. It's like a real professional setup here. So we're going to get to work and I'll see y'all later.
Oh wait, you have to see all this. Oh, I want to show the boob cream. There's oh, boob yeah. cream. I love this part right here. Know thy boobs. Whatever you call them, take care of them. I love it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is awesome. And Colleen did the drew the packaging and mm -hmm. all the stuff. Hand did it. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. We'll when talk more about that yes. too. Yes, we will. Oh my gosh. Okay. I I I have not vlogged since well for a long time. <laughs> I haven't vlogged like at all today. I'm so sorry. It was a very eventful day. But I have 40 minutes of raw footage of me and Colleen, so that should count for something. My hair. I don't know what happened to my hair. I put that Living Proof Body Builder in it. There you go, look at that. And then after our video that we filmed together, Colleen and I went outside to this big um, balcony that was attached to the suite that we filmed in. It was like a wind tunnel and my hair just, anyway, we don't really care about that. Um, I, we, it was very boring. I did an Instagram live in the car on the way home. So I feel like I've been on camera, but just not here on the vlog. I have this thing that's healing, so we're gonna ignore that. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm rambling, and I don't even know what I'm wearing. Like, this was not what, this is what I wore in the video with Colleen, but this I just threw on because I got home and I got cold. Babbling, just lots of babbling. Aren't these fun? These are new from Bobble Bar. I'm like a magpie or a squirrel, easily distracted. Going to bed now, not enough sleep. Good night. Good morning, back to reality, back to life. Anyone remember that song? Anyway, I ordered a new mirror for outfits of the day, I don't know, videos. It's still up in the air. It's also up in the air as to where I'm putting it. Currently, I got it as far as inside the living room because it was just delivered. Um, <laughs> Uh, hello, it's bigger than, hi, my old mirror, and it's kind of frameless also, so it's a little less distracting. I, I kind of like it here, um, the light's really good. So here's my outfit of the day. Uh, let's get closer. So this is, you've seen, well, all of this before. Some of it's quite old. New necklaces, I should mention. These are from an Etsy shop called Shop Holly J. And these are layered. In hindsight, I should have ordered this one. Uh, you can get it in different lengths. And I should have ordered this to sit a little higher like a choker. But I hate chokers because I feel like I'm literally choking. So I didn't. But I might. they're so inexpensive. I want to say this is definitely under 50, but it might be under 30. They're very inexpensive. And this is a an initial. I went with G because everyone in my family has that in there monogram but like I said I would probably shorten up both of these I may just reorder both of them we'll see um loft sweater I think these are loft old loft like boyfriend jeans and then these are old Vince Camuto booties there's like a 2018 version that is similar but these guys are no more unfortunately I'm in home goods I'm looking for some stuff to hold a silent auction item that I'm working on and check out this pet bed. This is everything. I'm not getting this, but I wish I had a reason to get this. Mimi would enjoy it. Look at this little baby pet bed. I love it. So cute. Okay, also I changed my shoes. These are just a little easier to run around in. The silent auction item I'm putting together is I've been accumulating samples, makeup samples, skincare samples, perfume samples, and I want to put it in one big giant container. It's a huge bag from the past year. And I can't seem to find a container that's speaking to me. So I'm looking around. I'm at Home Goods. Might have to go to Hobby Lobby. We'll see. Okay, I'm home, and I have things to show you. Mail came. Look at this. I showed you this. Hmm, I can't remember. I showed it stories, but this is a week later. <laughs> this came from Colleen Rothschild. Um, okay, that just looks, okay. This is a bath mat. I'm not caressing someone else's breasts. Colleen had a breast cancer scare. Thank God it all turned out okay. But she found a lump in her breast many years ago by doing a self-exam, and she released this month a cream um, that is designed to be used when you do your self-exam, ignore the lawnmowers in the background, um, to help your skin slide over the breast more easily to help you determine to find the lumps and the bumps and to encourage you to do self 
breast exams every month. I don't know why I'm hitting this. So this is the bath mat and the hashtag is know thy boobs. And this is all hand written and hand drawn actually by Colleen. She did this on her iPad. This is hysterical. I love it. So this is a, like a memory pad bath mat. I love it. It's to encourage you to know thy boobs. And then this is the whole dealio about it and the backstory and how to do it, which I love. This is the packaging. Um, and it has, again, all the self-exam information, on how to do it. And then, this is really funny, I'm giving you a sneak peek. This will, may or may not be in the video, um, depending on the length of the video, but, um, and if it sells out before the video goes live, but, um, what is it? Whatever you call them, take care of them. Boobs, honkers, tatas, boobies, and so forth. So, gotta have a little sense of humor about this stuff. Good morning. It is Friday. It is more like a Monday. Just lots of, no, one big thing went wrong. Some major water leak happened. And this pipe, in fact, that connects our like water main, to our house to the water main, a tree root grew through it and cracked it in half. So we have no current water going to our house. We turned off the water, waiting for the plumber to come with the part. He's obviously pulled that out, kind of did his thing, and then we're waiting on him. And UPS has been to my house three times. Three times today. Um, the first time to deliver this gorgeous thing. I have to make this, I want this a little shorter. This is my new Gigi bag. This is the I call it the Andy because that's my, I have a friend who spells her name this way, but I guess it's the Andy. And the hardest thing about ordering this was picking what shade. So I went with this camel shade because it goes with everything. And it's a crossbody adjustable strap flap. I'm gonna do a what's in my bag on this one. It has two outside pockets and then it zips on the top. It's zipped at the moment and then there's a big inside. You'll see more. I wanna do what's in my bag on that one. But then, <laughs> In the middle of the absurdity of the giant leak that was going on in my front yard, the UPS guy came and delivered this thing. I just want to know, do you call up a manufacturing company and be like, so I need a big plastic cherry. Can you make me one? Like, seriously. <laughs> I mean, what? Apparently, Urban Decay has released a whole naked cherry. That brings to mind all sorts of lovely images. Line. And yes, I dug into it already because I had to smell the setting spray. What did I do with it? Which I took out because I had to smell. This is, as far as I can tell, the only actual scented product. It smells like Robitussin. It just smells horrible. Um, and there's the Naked Palette, Naked Cherry Eyeliners, Naked Cherry Highlight and Blush Palette, which is, actually I rubbed it off, and three Naked Cherry Inspired Lipsticks all in this giant <laughs> plastic, whatever, cherry. Also, um, this came um, doing a blog post with QVC and T3 on this guy. Um, I don't know if it's out yet. If it is, I will link to it. And then the Zoya Holiday Collection came out. All these colors came out. I haven't even swatched them yet. They've released some new pixie dust shades. I love me some pixie dust. And I'm intrigued by this, which is a leopard spots topper. What does that, it's got crushed a little, actually. I don't even, we're gonna have to swatch that. Let's go check that out. So I wouldn't say these are leopard spots. I would say this is like a crackle glaze kind of thing, you know what I'm talking about? Like if you do decorative wood painting, wood finish painting, this looks like a crackle glaze finish that I've done on antiquing type furniture. I am heading out to a really cool thing called Parade of Homes where a bunch of custom home builders build really cool over the top houses. So we were invited to a private showing because we're friends with one of the owners of one of the home building companies. So here's my outfit of the day. Oh, and I'm wearing the Urban Decay Cherry, one of the cherry highlighters on my cheeks. This is that top that I got from Nordstrom and these are actually Nordstrom brand pants, Caslon. And I don't know, I think these are still around, the Mark Fisher shoes that everybody has. It's still really hot, it's 80 something degrees. And bubble bar, hang on, bubble bar earrings. 
the Malena Mal something. Still finding that's it. It's almost gone. And um, I smoothed out my hair with the, I used the curling wand, but the really, really big, biggest barrel. So it's just kind of a big smooth wave. I didn't get to blow my hair out today like I had wanted because we had some water leakage issues. That's it. So, oh, and I'm wearing my new bag. Okay, we're at the Prada Homes and I'm, I'm, I'm getting ideas for myself. This is really just me. This is, there's a detached garage that they kind of turned into a man cave and it actually has its own bathroom in there. And then it attaches, there's a little walkway, but I'm liking this concrete path. And this, I don't know, we don't have anything where I could do this, but I kind of like it. Okay, and now, yes, when my friends are like, get me out of the picture. So now we're gonna go check out this house. Let's go see. Oh, it has, um, they all have the cool technology. Oh, this is different. Like the kitchen is right in the entryway. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go look inside. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's very, I love it. Oh, man. Wow, it's a door. Oh, I, I just. Yes, please. I will move in. So, yep. Look at this kitchen. It's just, it's my color. It smells really good. You can't smell it, but trust me, it smells like. Mm, it smells fabulous. It smells like money. <laughs> yeah. It smells really expensive. Look at this. This is, this is like, a, this is really about their pantry. It's a whole. Can you take this place? I'm good with this place. What is this candle? That must be what we're smelling. What is this? It smells so good. No idea. This is amazing. This is, okay, somebody get in there for scale. Will somebody right, go first and go please stand in there. How many, how many guys can we get showering in there? That's my friend Greg. You can reach this is video. This is, this is the bathroom of another house. Thank you. Yeah. Use the other shower for yeah. the bottom. <laughs> That's a huge bathtub. <laughs> Multiple showers. Wow. Yeah. I'm sitting in bed reading and I've zoomed in to um, my lava lamp. Look at the glitter. Isn't it pretty? Just go. It looks very There we go. Now you can see my messy office area. Mm. Um, and I have my pumpkin spice candle burning. It's not pumpkin spice. It's like fireside pumpkin. But it smells really good. But it's so... Let's see if we can... There it is. It's so pretty and it's raining out and it's dark and it's just really hard to get out of bed this morning. It's almost 8 o'clock. 7.45. But it's Saturday so I'm not really being a slacker, right? Right. And I just realized I like Totally stopped filming in the middle of the Parade of Homes. Never like filled y'all in on anything. Um, I would have filmed a lot more of the houses, but then I suddenly realized there was like hundreds of people there and kind of hard to film with a bunch of random strangers walking through all those houses. So I had to stop, but it was really neat. I love looking at, you know, luxury homes that are just decorated to the nines. Um, I think there were four or five houses at the event. If you're in San Antonio, it is way out there. It is technically in Bernie, but you're almost to Bandera. It's way up 10 to 46 and then west on 46, like five miles west of 10. So it's, if you're, like I said, in the San Antonio area, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, you'll be like, what? At this moment on October 6th at 4.45, I'm kind of done with sharing much of my personal life. It's kind of where I am right now. Just... That's just, I'm just sharing that feeling. I don't know. I'll get over it, I'm sure, and still put this up. But right now, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't want. I don't know if I want to go to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just normal videos and no more vlogs. We shall see where this goes. We shall see. Stay tuned. All right. I gotta get to work and edit this vlog. See you later.